Hey everybody, Ash here for the Triple S League with some tips and tricks on fighting Clockwork Soldiers, uh, which are one of the one of the new enemies in Dishonor 2 and one of the most interesting enemies. Actually, I find them to be a lot of fun. They're also a very difficult enemy, especially on uh, harder difficulties. But there's a few things you can do to really maximize your chances if you're in a battle against them. Now. Obviously, uh, things like grenades work really well. Sticky grenades work very well. Another thing you can do is there's a panel on the right leg that you can use a rewire tool. You can see it says there, Invert Faction. That means that the Clockwork Soldier will fight for you instead of against you. But what if you either don't have any of those things or you don't want to use up a whole bunch of resources on fighting a Clockwork Soldier? Well, here's how you fight a Clockwork Soldier with just your sword. Now the weak spots on a Clockwork Soldier are the Whale Oil Canisters, which are located as follows. There's one on each arm, and as you can see they're protected by uh, these these uh, bands of amber wood, I think it's called, but anyway. They've got some armor protecting it, but they're the, those glowing parts there. If you knock the armor off and then hit the oil tank on any of the arms, it loses that arm. But the major weak spot is here at the back. There's this uh, curved piece of armor that's protecting the main oil canister. Uh, at, on its back here. If you hit that thing, it's over. Uh, the Clockwork Soldier is toast. Just make sure you get out of range uh, because it gives off an electrostatic discharge as it dies that, that will hurt you quite severely. Now let's talk about the Clockwork Soldier's perception. It has very good eyesight in front and in back, but it has limited visibility from the sides. Um, so I'm going to put this guy in a hostile state and I'll see if I can demonstrate this for you. Okay, I've managed to confuse the clockwork about where I am. As you can see, if I land down right beside him, he can't see me at all. So, this might be a good way to, if you want to, just get the drop on him. In fact, yeah, he, he's... He didn't even realize I was there after I attacked him. But, as soon as he turns and looks at me, either with his, his you know, camera at the front or camera at the back, um, you're in a lot of trouble. And uh, here I'm actually, I'll take the opportunity to demonstrate how you can knock their arms off. So you can see there, I've taken two of his arms off, so he's got, um, he's got a reduced attack now. But he's still, still very dangerous, so you gotta be careful. Now, if you do have one chasing after you, the best thing to do is get out of sight as quickly as possible until they lose track of you. But you've got to be careful. Never assume you're safe until you know you're safe. Even if you escape to a high ledge, it'll either charge its electrostatic discharge like that and absolutely obliterate you. And sometimes they'll just say, screw it, and jump up to wherever the hell you are. They'll follow you onto and off of high balconies. They're very good at staying on your tail and keeping track of you. The best way I've found to evade them visually is to go behind cover and then blink behind another piece of cover. Oh. You see, I lost him there for a second. Now let's talk about actual combat. One of the most effective ways to deal with a clockwork soldier is to remove the head. And this actually removes the visual component of their senses. They can still hear, and they will follow sounds, but they can no longer see you, and they can no longer distinguish between friend and foe. So they will attack you, but they will also attack any of their allies that are nearby. So basically, anything that makes a sound, they'll move and attack it. This can be very helpful if you're fighting more than one Clockwork Soldier. You take the head off of one, you can get them to fight each other. A good solid sword strike will take the head's armor off, but unless you destroy the oil canister that's inside the head, the thing can still see, and it'll still be just as deadly as it was before. So a more effective way to destroy the head is to perform a drop assassination. Even if you've maxed out your agility, your maximum jump is still not enough to perform a drop assassination. You actually have to get a little bit elevated off the ground. So if you can drop down from a balcony or something, that's ideal. But even if you can just hop up on top of something, perform your max jump, and then 
pry the head off like that. And as you can see, now the thing is blind. So if I make some noise over here, it's tracking me via sound only. So it still thinks I'm over there. So it'll track you by wherever it last heard you make noise. A blind clockwork soldier is very easy to sneak up on. And if you manage to land a second drop assassination, it's, uh, it's lights out for our clockwork friend. And once again, make sure you get out of range or that electrostatic discharge will... It'll damage you badly, if not kill you. But what if you're stuck with a clockwork soldier in a small room where you can't get above it, and it's not easy to hit the head? What do you do to actually fight these things head on? For example, if I go over here, the thing's gonna aggro on me. Well, step one is block. Block constantly. Do not let up on your block while it's attacking. Stay facing the clockwork soldier. Keep blocking. What's gonna happen after he lands five or six hits on you? He's gonna overheat like he saw there. That gives you an opening to strike. And you've got to take that opportunity as soon as you can to uh, get around behind him. I mean, hit him anywhere you can, but get around behind him and knock his back panel off and expose the main oil tank. And then the next time he overheats, get behind him, hit that primary oil tank, and you're golden. So there you go, there are my tips and tricks for fighting clockwork soldiers. If uh, you have any questions or uh, anything else you'd like to see, uh, please drop a comment down below. I love hearing from you guys. Hope this helps. I hope you're enjoying Dishonored 2. Hey everybody, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. It helps us out a ton when you do that. Check out this video. It's one of our favorite things that we've done so far on our channel. And here's some more stuff you might like. See the description below for links to our Sugar Bomb forum and our mods on Nexus mods.